We're now joined on the show by the head coach of the Shepherd Rams football team, Ernie McCook. Coach McCook, how are you today? Hey, it's good to be with you guys. How are you? We're doing well. Ready for the start of the season as the Rams kick off Thursday night against Southern Connecticut State on the road. Coach, uh, it's been a matchup for your team the last two years between you and Southern Connecticut State. You're headed back uh, to play at their place on Thursday night again. Uh, what's the excitement like for the program, and just uh, what, what do you like about this matchup that you've continued this series over the last few years? Well, you know what? I, I think they're a first-class operation with how Coach Godick, uh handles his team. Uh, it's a great regional opener for us. It's a Northeast 10 team. And uh, we're glad to have that partnership with them. We know it's going to be a tough ball game. They're well coached. They're hard nosed. They're very blue collar with how they play. Um, we got we got away with one last year, so we know they're they're going to be hungry and want to play at a high level and get us. Uh, it's going to be a great challenge, um, but it's a it's a it's a game that can only help our team be better throughout the long run. Coach, what were some things from that first matchup against Southern Connecticut State to the second one that you you kind of saw uh, to where your team can improve on? Obviously, it's going to be a you know a, a different team than last year that you're facing. Uh, but what what do you think you learned from that second matchup uh, against Southern Connecticut State that you can bring uh, into this year's uh, matchup against them? Well, you know, when we when we originally played them, we played them up there, and that was Tyson Bajan's senior year. Uh, we obviously had a a lot of returning experience uh, last year. Uh, we played them at home, having them at home. I, I think what we saw is, you know, a team that we match up well against. They match up well against us. Um, it, it is going to be a real challenge. You know, um, it is not something that it's not by any means a easy win for us or a definite loss, uh, but it's uh, that I just think it's a well-coached, hard-nosed football team that is going to be, it's going to be very similar to playing ourselves. Uh, they have a history of playing Pennsylvania State athletic programs. They played IUP in the past, and they've always, they've always been a great challenge. Um, I, I think it's a great opener to see where we are as a football program. Coach, you have another new starting quarterback this year in Leck Powell. Uh, you mentioned his consistency being something that really separated him in camp. Uh, you mentioned that during your press conference. Um, yeah. What have you seen from Leck that I guess compares to some of the other guys that played quarterback from Shepard? How is he different? How is he uh, kind of the same in those ways? Well, I, I, I think what we, we have is we've had, a, uh, for the first time in a long time, we've had a guy that's been in the program for uh, learning the offense for a couple years. And so Leck was the backup last year to Seth Morgan, who was the grad transfer that we had from VMI. Uh, and, of course, Tyson for the four years prior to that, four seasons prior to that. Um, the last time we had a guy that had been in the program for a couple years as a backup was Connor Jessup. Uh, they're two different type of quarterbacks. Uh, Leck is, uh, you know, very much... Uh, he is an elusive guy. Uh, he's got a strong arm, can spin it. Um, but he is. This will be his first start as a uh, as a college quarterback. And you know, I think with the, everybody around him, from our defense, our offensive line, our running backs and receivers, need to step up and, and you know make make help make him successful as he's the quarterback. Quarterback often gets too much credit and too much of the blame. Um, I think, you know, I'm obviously excited for Leck. Uh, he's worked hard uh, and put a lot of time in, and he's been committed to our football program. Uh, and, you know, I, I appreciate that, and I'm looking forward to seeing him have some great success. Every quarterback loves to have a good rushing attack behind him to have a, a two-dimensional yeah. offense. Uh, how do you see this year's running game uh, comparing, obviously, yeah, a different – look on the offensive line that always uh, makes a difference but bringing back Malachi Brown and Jordan Barnett and then potentially uh, adding Grant Swinehart into the mix what can you tell us about uh, what we can expect on you know who's taking snaps or running back well you're going to see all three running backs um, you know we're uh, obviously Mal Malachi is our starter 
he was very productive for us last year in a positional move from wide receiver to running back and, and actually is naturally a, a, a really dynamic player there. And then uh, Jordan Barnett and Mal together last year was a nice one-two punch. And I think by adding Grant into the mix, uh, we're able to see, you know, have some real significant depth there uh, with guys that can play at a high level. So I'm really, I'm really pleased with that position. I'm, I'm, I think this, I like this football team a lot. Um, I think all over the board, I think we've got a lot of really good players that play with great desire and effort and energy, and, and that holds true in the running back room. Defensively last year, Coach, your team was kind of young. You return a lot this year on that side of the ball. Um, just, I guess, what are some expectations for the defense in terms of what you're going to be able to do with that unit this year? Well, the defense is playing outstanding. I mean, the, the the things that our coaches have done with the defense and the improvements that they've made um, have been, you know, just transform transformational. Um, you know, I, I I think that you know I I, I sit there and I, now I've I've had to deal with our defense as the offensive line coach uh, all through spring ball and all through fall camp and. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, what, to seeing them on the field against an outside opponent. Uh, you know, it starts up front with Jack Baxter and Matt Benarski uh, and Jack Brutus and Brett Coca and Vince Fluck and Danny McPherson are all guys on the defensive line that are going to contribute in a significant way. I think our linebacking core is outstanding. Uh, with obviously Harold O'Neill, who's a returning starter, um, Avante Lockhart, who's creating depth for us, Joseph Groves, who I think had transferred from William and Mary, whose dad played at Shepherd for Coach Barr, um, and uh, Brody Carroll and Cole Scott. Are, uh, they, that room is as impressive as any position room that we have on on the team. And they play hard, they play fast, they play physical, and they are always aligned in the right way. And the back end, you know, I think our corners right now, the two starters and Dante Harrison and uh, Clayton Batten, Batten back after a redshirt, a medical redshirt last year. Um, you know, those two guys are outstanding with what they do. And our safety is Geo Tolbert. Man, he is just watching him, how much better he's gotten from – fall last year through spring ball to where he's playing right now. I think he's going to pop when on tape when we watch him. And I think Miles Greer is uh, a player that everybody can really get excited and, and people are going to want to know who that guy is as we get through the season. You have your second straight year now with Tom Clark as your offensive coordinator. It's been a while since you've had the same offensive coordinator two years in a row. Uh, what have you been uh, game planning out with him uh, that you can tell us, of course, uh, yeah. when it comes yeah. to, uh, you know, what uh, or just in general, what it means to right. bring him back for the second year in a row? Obviously, you have yeah. a history with him. and It's nice to have yep. that continuity. Yeah, it is awesome having the continuity. But, you know, the 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 play callers have changed, but the offenses remain the same. Uh, we're 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 our, the basis of our offense is built. 20 years ago um you know when we when i came here as the offensive line coach offensive coordinator um we've only added to it and kind of built on it and um i feel like you know we we make our offense fit the personnel that we have and what they do well um i think tom is more in sync this year right now um you know and he has a challenge with the first year starter i mean you know, one thing, you know, obviously having Tyson Bajan and then we were able to get um, Seth Morgan the transfer, you know, Seth actually started games at BMI. You know, I think our biggest challenge is we're going to have a first-year starter, man, and there's probably a lot of emotions going through Lex's head right now, and we just have to keep him focused, keep the game plan where he'll execute and get, and get the ball to our playmakers. And our playmakers are Jeremiah Taylor, Cam Dorner, uh, Clayton, uh, not Clay, Cordell Batten, um, you know, in the receiving core. And I think you can see Roman Pearson, a Martinsburg guy. He's going to do some good things for us. Um, also, we have a grad transfer in Thaddeus Stanfield. 
I think that's going to make some plays for us in, in the receiving core. And then, uh, I, you know, our tight ends, Brian Jester, Dustin Fisher, and Jack Rostage all were the same guys who were in those positions last year and are very familiar with what we do offensively. And, I, and I'm really excited about the offensive line. You know, Ty Lucas, who I do believe is one of the best offensive linemen in the country, is, is playing guard for us. Brandon Carr are, is a, and Wyatt Pelicano are tackles. And then center James Bell and Curtis Jefferson and Josh Crumman. So, I mean, our, our overall football team is, I think, in a really good spot. I think that we have some, you know, obviously we're going to play a new opponent. Our off, our defensive guys are going to see something new, which is going to be refreshing for them. Our offensive guys are going to see something new, which is going to be refreshing for us offensively. Um, I think our team is going to be very excited to go play. Um, this is why this is why you sign up. This is why you join the program. This is why you come to Shepherd to play in games. And knowing that we're going to play against a really good football team, uh, you can't look at their record. You can't even – don't judge what conference they come from. And just know that you got a coaching staff that prepares their players well. they got a blue-collar type mentality where they're going to play hard, they're going to be physical, and we're going to have to match all those things, make more plays and less mistakes to be able to come away with the win. Coach, during your press conference, you also mentioned that there was a, still a kicking competition. Have you figured that out yet? And do you, and want to you know what? We're, we're still a couple of days away, um, so I, I I think we're you know Matt Barrett, our, our Ryan Barrick is our punter, and we're we're good to go with him. Uh, I think you could probably see both kickers kick. Coach, well, I'm sure we'll get Wyatt's perspective on this uh, soon enough if we bring back uh, Wyatt Wednesdays. But from your perspective as a coach, having an offensive lineman move out from from guard to tackle, what is that like for you uh, in terms of uh, coaching that player through that process? Well, there's nobody I trust more than Wyatt Pelicano. Um, you know, Wyatt, Wyatt has tremendous desire uh, you know, a lot of guys would shy away from that, that that move because it's hard, it's a challenge, not Wyatt. Wyatt's the kind of guy that will step up to the challenge, and Wyatt wants to do the best he can do for this football team. Um, and I'm really proud of what Wyatt's done and how he's improved at that posi- the move, and the positional move over the last eight months or six months, however long it's been. Um you know, I, I think a lot of things when you make decisions on positional moves, whether it was Malachi or Wyatt or whoever it may be, you know, you want to make the move somebody that's going to wrap their arms around it and embrace the move, and Wyatt has done that. He also understands what a key position that is for us. And uh, I'm, I'm, again, really proud of uh, how he's carried himself and his preparation to play at a high level is extremely high. Uh, so I, I'm, I, I have a lot of confidence in Wyatt, and uh, I'm sure his perspective will be pretty neat as well. Coach, thank you for the time, and uh, good luck on Thursday night. I appreciate it, guys. Go Rams.